Hey what's up guys this is Varun here back again with another amazing spark ar tutorial for you guys in today's video we're going to make color picker filter using spark ar studio and all of the project files will be linked in the description down below you can get those and follow along this tutorial and if you want to try this filter i will give a link to a color picker filter called anime made by my friend one up you can click on that link and try this filter for yourself with that being said hit that thumbs up button and let's get started In order to create such an effect you need to have the following assets I will be using a LUT in this filter so I have that LUT jpeg image do let me know if you want me to make separate tutorial on how to convert your mobile lightroom presets and pc lightroom presets into instagram filter then I have a noise animation sequence which I will be using in the filter uh, these are completely optional then I have these patches these are created by Josh Beckwith I will give his GitHub repository link in the description down below you can get there and download these two patches and if you want you can support his work then the most important asset are textures so i have these 12 textures here in which three are circle and uh, three are rectangles three are circle outlines and three are rectangle outlines you can easily create this using photoshop and these images need to be transparent that is in png format and the resolution for these textures is the width is 844 pixels and the height is 1500 pixels you have to maintain 9 to 16 aspect ratio you cannot see the circle outline right now because it's white and it is not visible when it's transparent let me make it black and you can see that if you want to create such circles just select the circle tool hold shift and draw a circle remove the fill and select the stroke as white give it a width and select the pattern as dotted lines you can follow similar process for rectangle as well once you have created all of the textures now let's jump into spark ar studio and start creating first we are going to import all of our assets just select the patches and drag them into spark ar studio then i will drag the lut image create a new animation sequence for noise if you don't have noise you can skip this step click on choose file and choose the noise animation images and make sure no compression is enabled on all of the textures like the noise texture and the lut as well now we need to import the textures just select the textures and drag them into spark ar studio select all of the textures and enable no compression just check the size of this it should be less than 4 mb and if it's less than 2 mb then it's awesome now right click anywhere and go to add and select a rectangle this will create a new canvas and a new rectangle as well name the canvas and the rectangle as lut as we are going to apply lut on this now go to camera and under texture extraction click on that plus icon This will create a new camera texture. Now create a material for our LUT. Name the material as LUT. Change the shader type to flat and make sure the size of this rectangle should be the size of the screen. To do that, just select the rectangle and beside size parameters, click on click on this 100 and select fill width. Sometimes it will not work, sometimes it will work on the first try. Just click on fill width and fill height. Now drag the LUT into the patch editor. Also drag the camera texture into the patch editor. Now drag the fast color LUT into the patch editor. Just connect the RGBA node of the camera texture and the LUT to the texture and the LUT of the fast color LUT patch. Select the LUT material and click on that right arrow beside texture and connect that to the output of fast color LUT patch. 
now we have successfully added our LUT in the filter. Now our LUT is applied. You can convert this patch asset into patch group by right clicking on it and select convert to patch group. That way the changes made to it will be only applied to that instance, not any other instance of that. Now we need to add a new rectangle for noise and the process is same. Just create a noise material, apply noise animation sequence to that material, change the size of that noise rectangle to fill the image and now change the blending mode to add under the material properties. You can experiment between different blending modes but I feel add is good for this one. I'll name this LUT and noise. Next create a new canvas for circle and a new rectangle in it. Change the size of the rectangle to fill the screen. Name it one, give it a material and duplicate that rectangle. Once you have created materials and the rectangles for three circles, assign the circle textures that we have imported initially like this. Now do the same process for circle outline and rectangle and rectangle outline. I will speed up this process. Once you are done creating the rectangles and assigning the materials, your preview window should look something like this. Now double click on patch editor and select texture transform. Drag the output node of it and select texture sampler. Connect that to the RGBA node of the camera texture. Duplicate it two times more. In total we'll have three. Now select the circle materials and under properties click on that texture right arrow. This will create texture patches in the patch editor for these three circles. Connect those to the three patches we created earlier, like this. I have made a mistake here, the circle is filling up the whole area. To fix that, select the circle material and enable alpha channel and under texture, select circle 1, circle 2 and circle 3 for 3 circles. After doing that, you will get this view in the preview window. Now after that, in the texture sampler, you need to alter the values to get the color sample from different areas of the image. You can experiment with these numbers. You can choose any number you want or input any number you want. I have used these numbers before, so I am going to use that number here as well. Once you have these values, you will get color samples of different places in the image. Now select the fast color LUT patch and duplicate it three times and import fit to rect patch. Connect it to these three patches. Now you have to select the rectangle materials and click on the right arrow beside texture. This will create its patches and just connect them to this. Now you may see some values already inputted over here, 
just remove them and make the offset 0 and all other values as 1. Now you will end up with something like this. Now we need to get the texture sample from different places. To do that, just click on this cross up and down arrow on the fit to rect patch. You will enter the patch. Here you have to alter the translation parameters under 2D transform pack. That is the X and Y coordinates. You can just play around with these numbers, see what looks good for you. I'm just experimenting over here changing the x and y coordinates for different places on the screen to get the different texture sample from the screen or you can use the same numbers that i am using here right now you have to repeat this process for rectangle 2 and rectangle 3 as well once you are done setting up the x and y coordinates your filter is complete it should look something like this you can get this complete filter project files from the gumroad link in the description down below that will also support the channel as well thank you so much for watching do let me know if you have some suggestions for upcoming tutorials in the comment section down below or on Instagram. If you create any filter from my tutorial, do tag me in your stories and send them to me on Instagram at vr7.tech. I will be happy to give you some feedback on them. Well, that's it for this video guys. I hope you have learned something new and if you have any tutorial ideas or you have created any filter using my tutorials, then do share them with me on Instagram at vr7.tech. I would love to check them out and subscribe to the channel for more such sparky art tutorials like this video if it has been helpful to you and until next time take care